from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello and good morning to you. I'm James Tully. Greg D, of course, has your weather in just a moment. First, here are your ABC Action News headlines. Three people facing charges after a string of armed robberies in the Bay Area. Dion Alvarez, Christopher Alvarez, and Enrique Martinez are facing robbery and gun charges. The Department of Justice says they robbed four Tampa area convenience stores within one day back in May. Investigators say they tried to rob someone for drugs a few days before that. 338, that's how many pedestrian crashes Hillsborough County has reported so far this year. It's led to the death of 27 people, according to the Florida Department of Highway Safety. That's why it's no surprise that the Tampa Bay area was named as one of the most dangerous for pedestrians in the country. The Tampa Clearwater area, named the fourth most dangerous, Daytona Beach, was ranked as the most dangerous. The report also shows that it's getting worse, with the fatality rate almost tripling from 2011 to 2015. A Pinellas County nonprofit is rebranding, hoping to accurately represent its community. Park, as it was previously called, serves children and adults with developmental and intellectual disabilities. Leaders say what Park stood for in the 1950s is no longer acceptable, so it'll now be known as the Park Center for Disabilities. It's also an effort to make sure people in the community know what to do and how they can help the community. They offer programs to adults and kids, job skills training, transportation, things like that. The center sits on more than seven acres in St. Pete and is also home to more than 90 people. Right now, the Tampa Bay Rays have more injuries than any other team in the league. They added Josh Fleming to the list of players going to the injured list. It gives them 16 players down with injury, including star shortstop Wander Franco, who had surgery yesterday. But despite all the injuries, it didn't stop them from beating the Red Sox Tuesday night. They'll face Boston again tonight at the Trop in a with a chance to uh, to sweep them, Greg, which is exactly what we want to see. That's exactly what we want to see. Hi there, everybody. Our Wednesday starting off with mainly dry weather, but thunderstorms do return later on in the afternoon. So as you're getting ready to head out the door this morning, definitely take advantage of the more comfortable, drier conditions now. Temperatures in the 80s. As we go through the afternoon, we're back into the low to mid 90s. Sea breeze gets active pretty quickly after the lunch hour. Showers and thunderstorms return with what looks like to be another cluster. Of storms coming in this evening out of the east. So rain chances staying low in Tampa through the middle of the afternoon, but by later on tonight, those rain chances increasing up above 40%.